farmer's market, and we had a couple of other around out the years that we talked about. Welcome to Senior Break. I'm Dawn Medici, and Mar Marie May, my co-host, is not able to join us today, but I do have two special guests. I have uh, Kathy Pepper and Heidi Irwin from Metamora uh, Physical Therapy. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah, thank mm -hmm. you for coming out today. So um, Metamora is not too far up Lapeer Road, just right outside of um, Oxford, uh, is Metam where you can find Metamora. Um, and your your uh, physical therapy office, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh -huh. not too far. Yes. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, Metamora Metamora Physical Therapy, and then if each of you could just give us a little bit of your background, and then how you you came together. Okay. Yeah. Well, like she said, I'm I'm Heidi with Metamora Physical Therapy, and we're located on 24, okay. uh, just south of Pratt Road. Okay, so it's not too far, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I live in Oxford, um, but I'm originally from up in Lapeer, and I'm a physical therapist there and co-owner with Kathy. Okay. Um, my background, uh, I graduated probably from PT school almost 20 years ago, uh, and then you know um, we came together six years. We just celebrated our six year oh, anniversary yeah. in January. So that was a, a nice milestone. Yes. Um, and we have, a, you know, some specialties at Metamora uh, Physical Therapy. We do outpatient orthopedics, so your general neck um, pain, low back pain, hip pain, um, post-surgical rehab okay. conditions. Um, but then also, uh, we're both pelvic health physical therapists, so we see um, incontinence issues, prolapse, post-prostatectomy patients, um, pelvic pain, pelvic pain, yeah. pain with sex. So that's another thing we we do there. Um, and then, do you want to talk about some of the other, th your, your sure, specialty? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so then I um, am a breast cancer rehab specialist as well. Um, so I have been doing that for um, probably the past seven years. I'm also a lymphedema therapist okay. as well. So, um, so they kind of go hand in hand. A lot of our um, breast cancer patients develop lymphedema um, post-surgery. So um, I kind of came into that um, after my journey with breast cancer. So I feel a real important connection to treating these women through their whole journey, whether it's from their diagnosis, post-surgical, they deal with a lot of things with some, you know, shoulder range of motion, shoulder pain, some restrictions in their motion from things called axillary webbing. And um, so it's real important for me to, to really reach these women at all aspects of their stage all the way through survivorship. So, you know, whether it's, you know, after they're done with all their treatments and they're having some after effects of that as well. So I am, um, you know, whether it's getting back into exercise and living a healthy lifestyle afterwards. So. Um, and that's kind of led us into both Heidi and I have just recently um, completed our health coaching for women as well. So really trying to take people to that next step after they're you know done with their injury portion of it. Like what's our next step and how do I continue this and live a healthy lifestyle? So wow, this is really great. You both of your backgrounds are are uh, sound amazing and and what you can do and give give to your your clients. Um, sounds um, amazing. Um, I'm used, and to me, it doesn't sound like your medical metamora physical therapy is like a traditional um, therapy place that somebody could could go. Like traditionally, like what I, I guess what I'm used to is you go for either PT or OT, and that that's pretty much right. it. It sounds like you both really bring a lot of value to your your practice. And, and provide a lot of services for your clients, and that's that's amazing. Yeah, we go ahead. Yeah, and I would and I would say you know that's really um, kind of what we we wanted to do when we envisioned mm -hmm. opening this you know six years ago is you know we really wanted to make it different. We wanted to give the community something that you know that was special. It was individualized. We could you know come in and they could see us and they knew who we are. And we really wanted to just really be that service for the community and what they needed. So. Um, so that's kind of why we started it and really, you know, pride ourselves on in giving that back to the community. So that's great. And we, we offer one-on-one -on -one 
physical therapy. So when a patient comes in there with us for the hour session, um, we have four physical therapists. I was going to ask, how yes. many do you have on <laughs> staff? Yeah, yeah, so we have four physical therapists, um, and um, we don't, you know, we go through all the exercises with them. We go through all the manual treatment with them. Um, we're, you know, really seeing one person at a time. Okay. Um, so uh, that makes us a little unique, I think, too. Uh, Kathy and I met I when I graduated. Ask, how, did, yeah, how did you guys meet and, like, and come together yeah. and develop this idea? We met, well, when I graduated, my last clinical was where she was employed. So yeah. they ended up hiring me at that, at that clinic. And we kind of followed each other around all these yeah. years. And we talked about every time we got together for dinner, like, let's open our own place. That way we can control what we do, make it a good experience, um, right. and make sure that you know, our patients are good, getting good health care. Um, and so one day we just decided that was the day and, um, Here you know, you yep. <laughs> it was a quick opening. So okay. uh, why did you pick Metamora? Is there a significance to Metamora? Well, I'm, I was born and raised in Lapeer. Okay. So I lived in Hadley at the time. Um, and I want, I loved the Lapeer community growing up. Um, I thought it would be a nice place to open a facility where we could be part of the community, we could support community events, community nonprofits, um, Metamora specifically because, you know, there was this like niche area of like Dryden, Metamora, Hadley that we thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if people only had to come like five minutes for sure. physical therapy? Yeah, yeah. And so really when it came down to it, Metamora seemed like the best fit for what you know, we wanted to offer the yeah, okay. community. Yep. Do you have any no, more to add to that? Yeah. And then she moved here. So. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kids were grown at the time and I'm like, well, I had, you know, I'm like, yeah. yep, I wanted to be close to the community where I worked at. So, oh, nice. yeah, so mm -hmm. then I moved. Very good. So are you then in what, Metamora? I'm just, or? I'm just north of Metamora and Lapeer. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 So Lapeer is a great community. It is. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, well, good. So um, where exactly on uh, Lapeer Road are you located? What's your address? Uh, 3562 um, three, South Lapeer Road. Okay. We're in a facility with Hungry Howie's. Oh, yes. So everybody yep. seems to know where that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on the west side of the road. Okay. Just south of Pratt. All right. Mm -hmm. And if somebody was interested in getting some additional information from mm -hmm. you or would like to come out to see you, um, how do they get in contact with you? So they can, they can call us. Um, our number is 810-212-1277. Okay. Um, you can call us. Um, we'll be happy to either talk with you on the phone. If, you know, if there's something you're not sure if physical therapy was really right for you, you're having an issue, we do offer free injury screens as well. Okay, it just would be like a, yeah, just like a, you know, 15 minute consultation, kind of see what's going on, meet the person face to face sure. and, and then direct them and say, yes, you know, maybe they need to follow up with the orthopedic doctor back to their primary or, you know, is, is physical therapy right for them and, and how we could help them. So we offer that as well. That just needs to be scheduled in with our front desk. So well, that's, that's great because yeah. that's really key because if you really don't know what's going on mm -hmm. and yeah. you really don't want to take, go to the doctor mm -hmm. and have to pay for a, 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 mm -hmm. that whole visit that, you said it's a 20 minute, 30 minute consultation? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah 15 to okay. 30 minute consultation, okay. yep. Uh -huh. And then provide some input and then at that, that time that p the patient, they're, can determine what it is that how they want to move forward. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go back go to a commercial break and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the services that you offer. Okay. okay. Um, because I think you you have so much to offer um, that maybe that our audience doesn't isn't aware of and okay. maybe sure. they could benefit from it. So, great. Sounds thank good. You. Thanks. All right. We'll be right back. Doctor, or is this with the nurse practitioner? Fantastic. Dad, lunch. Got some soup for you. You are loved. Oh, you. Oh, look at those freckles. This was very much. You are valued. Yeah. <laughs> you 
are strong. You are resilient. <laughs> you got this. You are there for them. We are here for you. Find free care guides to support you and your loved one at aarp.org slash caregiving. My son Ian was diagnosed with a brain tumor at the age of 16 months. The outlook was pretty rough. We had no hope until St. Jude rescued us. I mean, they saved him. But then uh, it turned out he had a second cancer. To this date, you know, we are 12 years into this journey, and uh, from day one, we've never once seen a bill. It gave us the peace of mind to know that we're there with our son, and we're gonna beat cancer together. Now, he is doing really, really well. He's alive because of what St. Jude has done. He's here because of the doctors who came before, their blood, their sweat, their tears, of every day being in that hospital, the knowledge that has been accumulated and shared with everyone else around the world. You know, this is how we get rid of this, how we help kids beat cancer all over. It's the future. Welcome back to Senior Break. So, okay, you just shared with us where your location is and how to get in contact with you. So let's talk about your actual facility. What, if I were to walk in, what am I gonna see as a potential client when I come into your office? And, and, and besides the services that you provide for therapy, what else do you offer? Okay, well, I'll take the clinic overlay. Okay. okay. Um, so we have, you know, an open gym area. We have quite a bit of room. Um, but we also have three private rooms, so um, especially with our pelvic health patients, they're in a private room with their own bathroom located in the back side of our building. Okay. So there's That's a lot of privacy um, back there so that they're made comfortable yeah. when they come in for kind of those more sensitive issues. Um, and then uh, we have our front desk, obviously, that's open to the gym. Uh, and we kind of treat, you know, we can, people can... Um, they can come in and say, I'd like to be treated in a private room, and that's totally fine. Okay. Um, but it, you know, we do have that gym setting where we do all the exercises. Anything manual that needs to be done, that needs to expose any part, body part, of course we would, we would go into a private okay. room. Okay, that's so, good to know. Um, we have a big space um, on one side of the clinic where we have exercise Size classes. classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess, do you want to talk about like, what we offer? Class? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so besides our traditional physical therapy, um, we do offer. We kind of like to consider our health and wellness side of things, and so um, we do offer some exercise classes as well. Um, Heidi runs a functional fitness exercise mm -hmm. program on Friday mornings. Um, she works on balance, flexibility, strengthening, really all functional movements. So, doing squatting, lunges, um, anything else you want to. No, we can make some modifications in that okay, class depending upon too. who's all in the class. Correct. And so if they come with special needs, osteoporosis, um, balance issues, then it's a small class, six to eight people. So okay. modifications can be made throughout. So it's really a good like intro into like, let's start exercising. Right. So, so do you have to pre-register for that? Can you just drop in? We, it... we do, um, it is a six week program. Okay. It's an hour a week on, right now on Friday mornings, eight to nine a.m. And you do have to pre-register just so we have an idea of what to provide for each class and have it all set up. Yeah. And then Kathy also offers a yep. Pilates class. And then I offer a Pilates class. My Pilates class right now is, um, is a group mat class and that runs on Monday evenings from 5.30 to 6.30. Um, and then I do offer private Pilates um, sessions as well. So those are one-on-one -on -one and we do things on the Pilates chair and the Pilates reformer and some mat stuff as well during okay. our private sessions. And then we do have a yoga instructor that comes in on Tuesday evenings as well. And okay. that's on Tuesdays from um, 5.30 to like uh, 6.45, she has like an hour and 15 minutes there. Um, and she has great feedback, everybody really loves her. Um, that's so, that's, so it's a nice compliment to um, kind of a nice transition when you're done with physical therapy um, and want to kind of transition into continuing right. with your, your program, your exercises. Um, and you don't have to do physical therapy for us to come and join either, but um, okay, it's so a nice can, offering. Yes. Yeah. And we're, 
are, are those offerings, do you have a, a website or where can you find those offerings? Like if I didn't need mm -hmm. to come in for physical therapy, uh -huh. uh, where would I find that information? We do have a website. Um, most of that information though, because it constantly changes, is okay. on our Facebook or Instagram. Okay. So you yeah. can follow us on both of those okay. um, and we do update that weekly, you, yeah. very yeah. frequently. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I would say too, just the, the, the difference with our classes, I think, um, is we're PTs, even Claudia. Um, she's done yoga for so many years, she's a PT okay. at her training. So we're all physical therapists. So if you run into any problems during the classes, we, we bring more than just being the instructor. instructor. Okay. So um, we've been doing those for a while and, yeah. and they're very nice um, to have there. Um, now, do these cost anything? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then if they do, can, can you use insurance? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know how insurance would work. Yeah, um, so insurance doesn't cover the cost of the classes Class, themselves. Okay. Um, and each one of our classes is $90 for the six week session. So okay. yeah, not bad, mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah, and so we do take most insurances as well for the physical therapy, therapy end, side, yes. okay. right? So, um, and usually it applies just like it applies if you go to your medical doctor in terms okay. of deductibles and co-pays. All right, so. well, yeah. That's great. We one more thing too. We yeah. are offering a free coupon right now for the oh. yoga class. Oh, oh so yes. So if they've never, if somebody's never taken it and they kind of want to see what it's yeah. about and if they can do the class, um, they can call our clinic. They can mention the free coupon. Sure. Um, and then we just would like to know what night they'd like to come, and okay. and then they're allowed to come in and have one free session. One free session, mm -hmm. and that's uh, in the in a group setting yes. or yeah. in the group, in group setting, setting, not in mm -hmm. a one on one. No, yeah. in okay. a group yeah. setting for the yoga class for the yoga. specifically. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, so those are some great mm -hmm. things that you offer in addition to the traditional mm -hmm. physical therapy. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're also out in the community, mm -hmm. um, which is really great. Um, not too long ago, you were here at Oxford Township Parks and Recreation at the Senior Center mm -hmm. and did a um, presentation on osteoporosis. Yeah. And um, that was actually pretty well attended it and yes. a lot of great information. I've got my packet here. <laughs> I, I'm always referring to it. Um, or looking at it, or somebody <laughs> asks, I'm like, oh, I've got something for you. Um, but and that was that was a lot of great information. It was very beneficial for myself as well. Um, and um, and I'm excited to have you guys back out again. You're going to be out on March the 19th, mm -hmm. yeah, um, at 10 a.m. at the Senior Center, mm -hmm. and you're going to do a presentation on balance and fall prevention. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what that session is going to, that presentation is going to look like. So maybe we could get some of our audience to come in and <laughs> sign up for it and come, come meet yes. both of you. That yeah. would be great. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so the, the balance class it's, um, and presentation we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over like, why do you lose your balance? Um, what does balance consist of? Um, we're going to give you some things to prevent falls. Um, we're going to give some exercises and kind of what that all looks like. We're also going to have an, um, our OT mm -hmm. who is does home visits as well and she's going to be here with us and so she can kind of give us some tidbits on how to modify your home in order to make it safe to prevent the falls. Yes. So. Wow, another, another great so presentation. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to have you guys back out. So please, if you're interested in wanting to come out to listen to the balance and fall um, uh, prevention class um, and or you just want to speak to Heidi or Kathy, please uh, give the, par the Parks and Recreation a call at 248-628-1720 and pre-register. It is free to attend, um, but we'd just like to ha try to get uh, that pre-registration so then mm -hmm. I can share with you ladies so that you can prepare. Yes. Okay. That would prepare be great. for yeah. the class. So, yeah. All right. That would be great. Um, is there anything else that, 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 well, that we missed it? Um, uh -huh. I think we want to talk about a couple of things. So every, um, twice a year we do a, like a women's health um, presentation. We hold it up at Metamora Golf and Country Club. It's free for oh. the public. Okay. Um, there's hors d'oeuvres um, and drinks provided. And we always have a different um, topic. Okay. So the, we've done breast cancer in the past. We've done um, uh, women's health in terms of pelvic health in the past. Our last one was on mental health. Um, so depending, we bring on different um, providers to speak on any of mm -hmm. those 
um, subjects, but we we do that with Apothecary in town, oh, yes. and then also with Women's Excellence in Lapeer. Um, we kind of started that a couple years ago, and so we do have that in the spring and the fall. So watch our Facebook page for that. Okay. Um, we have um, a is it compre comprehensive urology coming in in April on the seventh. Yes. Yes, I think yep. at our I clinic, think, yep. Dr. Mansour's group, and we're going to be speaking on all things pelvic health. Okay. Um, and that's also going to be a free event held at our clinic. Um, again, that will be on our social media page. Okay. Um, what am I? And oh, then our nutrition, nutrition. class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then we have um, a registered dietitian coming in and mm -hmm. talking about just getting back to the basics with nutrition. And I'm escaping on the date of that. That is on. It's in March. March. Okay. March um, it's a Thursday. I think it's March 16th. I think is that yes. Thursday. Um, from six to seven. Okay. So, and once again, that'll right. be on our, our social media page. Yes. So, yeah. And you right. just call our clinic to okay. um, sign up for that. Right. And yep. again, those are all, all free, free to charge. Yeah. All right. Community events. Right. Mm -hmm. And that number to call again is? 810-212-1277. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so yeah. much for yeah. having us yeah. out yeah. Um, yeah. and you. giving us the thank opportunity to, yeah. to talk with you and yeah. uh, talk about our, our services that we have to offer. Yeah. So, Well, I really appreciate you coming out and um, look forward to having you back on March the 19th at the Senior Center. So thank you, ladies. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. You. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. We'll be right back. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. When a crisis hits, close to home and across the globe, nonprofits are on the front lines, ready to serve. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. The demand for charitable services has skyrocketed, and nonprofits are rising to meet the needs. Healing, nurturing, rescuing, honoring, protecting. Caring, inspiring. The work of philanthropic organizations of all sizes across all missions has never been more important. And it's donors and volunteers like you who make all this possible. Thank you. Together, we change the world. The Nonprofit Alliance. Hi, I'm Peyton Manning, and I'm partnering with the American Red Cross this year to tackle blood shortages. Giving blood's important because every two seconds, someone actually needs blood, and unfortunately, only like 3% of the U.S. population donates. So we have to step up to give and to make sure there's plenty of blood available for those in need. Visit redcrossblood.org to get in the game and make an appointment to give. Welcome back to Senior Break. Um, I wanna thank um, Kat, Heidi and Kathy um, from Metamora Physical Therapy for joining um, me today um, and, sh and sharing all that they have to offer out at their clinic. Um, so again, if you would like to um, come out to the Oxford Senior Center on March the 19th at 10 a.m., um, they will be here to do a presentation on balance and fall prevention. And it would be also a great opportunity for you to chat with them to learn um, um, more about what they have to offer or if you just have general questions about your own physical uh, well-being, they'll be able to, to offer that 
um, at that time. Um, or you can reach out to them directly, again, at 810-212-1277. If uh, you're looking for some exercise uh, and you wanna stay right here in the community, um, we offer at the Parks and Recreation at our Senior Center a Silver Wildcats Fitness uh, Drop-In. Um, if you happen to have silver sneakers as part of your supplemental insurance, um, that those classes would be free, but if you participate as a drop-in, um, they're $4 on site, um, so those are held on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, called Therapeutic Movements. Uh, we have uh, Silver Wildcats Yoga on Tuesday, and then uh, we also have some circuit classes on Monday and, and Friday. So if you're interested in learning more about the Silver Wildcat Fitness, reach out to the Parks and Recreation. Um, in addition to um, Silver Wildcat Fitness, we have Tai Chi. Uh, tai Chi will start again on April the 2nd and April the 4th, the next session. So if you're interested in signing up and joining us for Tai Chi, you'll need to do that before those classes start on April 2nd or April 4th. All right, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about travel. Um, Oxford Township Parks and Recreation, we offer a travel uh, program. It's day and extended. We will be having a spring extended travel show on Friday, May the 10th um, at 1230. Uh, it, to participate, it is free, but you do have to pre-register because we have limited uh, seating for, for that uh, travel show. Um, we'll have some of our travel partners there from Premier World Discovery, uh, Rybicki Tours, Excite Tours, Shoreline Tours and Travel, and Colette um, Tours. Um, we um, will be highlighting all of our extended travel that we'll be offering. So here are a few um, that I'll, I'll share with you today. Uh, we have up and coming, we have Utah's Mighty Five, um, it's National Parks that is going to go out in uh, September of this year. Um, we have South Dakota in October. We have um, the Duro River, Spain in October, November. We have a Savannah and Charleston holiday. And we have um, Christmas and Washington, D.C. at the state capitol also coming up in December. Going into 2025, we've added um, sunny San Diego, uh, explore Swiss, Switzerland, Austria, and Bavaria, um, Colorado Rockies, we're looking at Scotland, um, Spain and Portugal. So we're, we'll have a wide variety um, of um, tours, extended travel in 2025 as well. And what I'm really excited about in 2025 that we're gonna be offering is the Rose Parade and New Year's out in California. So if you are a uh, Rose Parade fan, that may be a good trip um, uh, to, to look for into 2025 or to, and to plan for. If extended travel is not your cup of tea, uh, then maybe join us for a day trip. Uh, we offer things like casino trips, um, going down into Detroit and looking at some of the history in Detroit. We've got one coming up called Day in the D. We have one that's called Mexico and Murals in Detroit. Um, we're going to go down to Henry Ford um, to the Rouge Factory for a tour. Um, Shop Ship Shawana. Uh, discover Saugatuck. So we have a wide range of also of day trips. Uh, so if you're interested in any of our travel offerings, you're welcome to stop into the Parks and Recreation office. We have flyers available at the office. Our flyers are also available online on our website. And um, you can always give us a call and we can share information with you as well. Thank you and um, Marie will be back with me next time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining us.